everybody. Today I'll be going over my top five picks for the best things you can buy at Harbor Freight for under five bucks. I get a ton of questions, comments, and emails from viewers asking which tools that I recommend from there. And I thought that this would be the easiest way to answer that. Now before I get started with my picks, I'd like you to pause this video and leave a comment below with your best finds at Harbor Freight. As people are reading through those replies, your suggestion might point out something that they weren't even aware of. Starting out with number five is the half inch grommet installation kit. It has 104 pieces, which includes a hole punch, backing board, installation tool, installation plate, as well as 50 complete sets of grommets. I use this kit to repair tarps and also to fix or add grommets to banners that hang in the garage. And using it is as simple as marking the spot that you want a grommet. Place the material on the backing board and cut a hole into it using the punch. Lay the metal installation plate on a flat surface and install half the grommet on top of it. Insert that grommet through the hole that you just punched in the material and then place the second half of the grommet on top. Insert the installation tool, strike it with a hammer, and you now have installed one new grommet and it's ready to go. This kit runs $4 off the shelf and it'll complete many repairs without any problems. Number four is the funnel tray. This is by far the fastest and easiest way to sort through a pile of miscellaneous nuts, bolts, screws, or other small items to find exactly what you're looking for, and then you can quickly clean everything back up again. The tray has raised sides and a funnel built into one corner, so literally you dump everything into it, find what you need, and then pour the remainder back into its container. There's an eyelet molded into the top for storage, and the bright yellow plastic is easy to spot in your garage or your workshop. The funnel is made in the USA and it only costs three dollars. Number three is the battery terminal cleaner. This is actually two wire brushes in one specifically designed to clean up your battery terminals as well as the posts on the top of a battery. The bottom section slides right over those posts then you just rotate it clockwise and pull it back off to clean them up. To clean up the terminals, you remove the cap by twisting it, insert it, and spin. In just a few seconds, the wire brush will have those shined up and ready to go also. Having clean connections is very important for having easy starts and to eliminate electrical problems. And many times you might think your battery is bad or weak when in fact there's just corrosion which is preventing a good connection. Cleaning everything up will keep your battery operating correctly and can prevent tow bills or jump starts. This runs $3 off the shelf and it should last you for a long time. Number two is the four piece mini pick and hook set. These are a simple and effective way to remove and replace O-rings, seals, and other small objects that you otherwise can't reach or remove easily. And unlike a regular screwdriver, the various tips are not all straight and you can get into tight spots or at weird angles. The pointed tip and narrow profile allows you to slide under and remove O-rings without damaging them. So let's say you just want to clean something up and you don't want to replace the existing o-ring with a new one, this is the type of tool that you'd need to use in order to do that. Since they are made out of steel, you can also magnetize them in order to pick up or retrieve small fasteners. And the set comes in this thin white plastic tray that lays flat in your toolbox to keep the various picks organized when not in use. Having a variety of automotive picks is a good idea for really anyone who works on their own vehicles, and the compact design of these will fit into places where larger versions just won't. The set of four is only $2, and they even come with a lifetime warranty. And my number one favorite pick is the Quantum 215 lumen LED pocket work light. It has an aluminum body, magnetic base, and a very bright and wide beam. For inspections or just carrying it around, they include a metal pocket clip, and the simple switch on the top will turn the light on high, low, and then back off again. To keep the per unit costs low, it's not using a lithium battery, and instead uses three standard AA batteries. Depending on the brand and capacity of the batteries that you use, they advertise that you can get up to three and a half hours of runtime before you need to swap those out again. And remember, a lot of times you can find coupons for free batteries at Harbor Freight. So assuming you get them that way, it won't cost you anything to operate it. Using it at night really lights up a whole area and if you're out walking your dog or working on a vehicle, you're not gonna have a problem seeing at night. Here's a similar light that I bought recently, which I think's almost the same thing. 
It's called the Nebo Big Larry 6306 Work Light. I picked this up for $25 plus tax at the store, which is over four times the cost of the Quantum. The overall shape and operation is basically the same, but it does have one added mode. On top of the high and low setting, it also has a blinking red strobe light. Now this might be helpful in your situation, but it does increase the price from about five bucks to over $25 out the door. So keep that in mind if you're looking at these. For the Quantum, the sticker price on the shelf currently shows $5.99. However, if you use one of those regular 20% off coupons, it drops the price down to $4.80 plus tax. That makes this an absolutely must-have tool, especially when you consider its construction, light output, magnetic base, and very low price. Remember that all the tools in this video do qualify for the standard 20% off coupon, bringing the final price below five bucks for any of them. Now, what I'd like to know is what do you think of my top five picks? Do you own or maybe you've used some of these? What has your experience been and would you recommend them to other people? And if there's other tools that they sell that you'd recommend, what are they? Leave a comment below this video and let me and everyone else know about it. And as they're researching Harbor Freight tools, your comment might really help them out. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.